Hi, I'm John Sisk with Audio Authority in Lexington, Kentucky. I'd like to demonstrate for you our model 2860A ground power unit, or GPU. It is specially designed to supply up to 60 amps of 28 volt DC power to your aircraft's external power receptacle. Its output is absolutely stable and noise free up to its full rated output. It is ideal for powering aircraft with contemporary electronic cockpits for periodic database updates, cockpit procedures training, powering the aircraft during pre-flight inspections, operating aircraft lighting and environmental systems, as well as troubleshooting and maintenance. Today I'll demonstrate its use with this beautiful Piper Meridian equipped with an Avidyne glass cockpit. But this GPU can be used with a wide range of aircraft from light piston engine trainers up through turboprops like a TBM or a PC-12 or King Airs and light business jets like the Cessna Mustang, CJs, Learjet 31A, Phenom 100, Eclipse 500 and many others. Generally, aircraft up to about 12,000 pounds. I would also point out that our GPU does not function as a start cart. It's for airframe power only. It should never be used to start, assist, or motor a turbine engine. That requires several hundred amps. Now let me show you how it works. The GPU case features built-in cord management with cleats on each side. One for the AC input and one for the 28 volt DC output to the aircraft. To achieve full output, you'll need a 20 amp, 120 volt AC circuit. If your available AC power is on a 15 amp breaker, the GPU's output will be limited to about 50 amps, which should be plenty for lots of aircraft. At full output, the GPU draws about 17 and a half amps. Once the GPU input is connected, move the power switch to the on position. You should hear the internal cooling fan spin up and see the digital output meter stabilize. Of course, at this point we have no load on the GPU, so the ammeter reads zero, and the voltage is 28, plus or minus half a volt. The on and off switch also serves as the unit circuit breaker, so if it ever trips, move the switch to the off position and resolve any external problems such as a short circuit. Then cycle the power switch back on. The GPU is designed for either horizontal or vertical operation with rubber feet on both surfaces. Be careful not to block the cooling fan's inlet or the exhaust vents as proper ventilation is necessary for the GPU to function. The GPU is also designed for dry conditions, so if you use it outdoors, like at air shows or ex exhibitions, be sure that it stays dry and ground debris cannot be ingested. Before connecting the GPU to your aircraft, be sure to consult the Airplane Flight Manual or Pilot's Operating Handbook for any airframe specific instructions or restrictions on using an external power source. With some aircraft, the external power receptacle must be activated by a switch in the cockpit. For the Piper Meridian Mirage Matrix and many other aircraft, you simply connect the GPU output cable to the aircraft and it automatically energizes the main electrical bus just as if you had turned on the battery master switch. A quick look at the output meters on the GPU shows that the aircraft is consuming about 20 amps. If your particular aircraft engages the ship's battery when the external power is applied, you will see the initial load on the GPU start out higher, then tick down as the GPU tops off the battery over a period of a few minutes. Having the battery in circuit with the GPU is a good thing in most cases, as the excess capacity of the battery provides a margin for transient loads above the GPU's continuous output. This is useful to accommodate the higher initial load of electric motors for things like flaps, hydraulic power pumps, or cabin environmental systems. Just make sure the continuous load is less than the GPU's 60 amp output and you should be fine. In larger aircraft that automatically activate more aircraft systems when external power is applied, you may need to experiment with pulling breakers of non-essential circuits to arrive at a configuration that meets your needs and falls within the GPU's maximum 60 amp output. 
Once you know this configuration, make note of it for easy reference in the future. If on connection you discover that your battery is deeply discharged and drawing excessive current, we recommend that you service the battery in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. While the GPU can top off a nominally charged battery, remember that it is not an automatic battery charger. It has no way of monitoring the battery's state of charge or adjusting its output to compensate for non-standard temperature or tapering its output to properly service a discharged battery. I'm going to engage the Meridian's battery master switch now and you'll see what I mean. The load on the GPU increases then begins ticking down. This is normal. Next I'll turn on the avionics master and again we see the load on the GPU increase. The same thing occurs as I activate other electrical systems such as doing my pre-flight inspection or exterior lighting. Many pilots abbreviate or hurry their pre-flight inspection because checking some items like exterior lighting can rapidly drain the ship's battery of power needed for engine starts. This is especially true with turbines where having maximum battery